Welcome back. Let's kill all these peaceful creatures, as was promised, foretold, if you will. They don't take much to... Whoa, I set up a Blom chain reaction, apparently. They don't really take a whole lot of damage before they go... Blah! Do they say Blom when they explode? Because it kind of sort of sounded like that, which is kind of funny, because then they're like Pokemans. They're like, a, they're like Voltorbs, but instead of saying Voltorb, they say Blom! Okay, I... How do I get down there? I really... That's like the fourth place where it's been a little crouchy crouch space and I can't get through there. I'll figure it out eventually. Alright, little child, Mr. Gianni's looking for you. I know you ran away from him, but... Oh! Oh! Okay! Surprise! It's a boss. Let's just uh, keep our distance. Keep our distance. Like that! Come on... Okay, I'm gonna keep on just dust storming like such through them and keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, 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 oh. I ran out of juice. Okay, that's fine. I think I got this. So let's we'll just cut right back to that little bossy fight. All right, welcome back. Let's fight some Giants. I assume they're pronounced the exact same as Gianni because that would make sense, yes? Okay, dust storm through. Fidget, go! Take care of business. I think that maybe I was wrong in my initial assessment of the fidget super strike or whatever it's called. Because I have been very much relying on the fidget mega mega fight strikes of death. So we'll just uh, give ourselves some time to recover our stamina's a little bit. And keep going, keep going. We'll just storm through them again. Come on. Oh, they're getting close, they're getting close. But if I manage to piecemeal out my fidget, fidget mega strikes, yeah, that was not bad at all. Hey, are you here to help me? Please tell me you're here to help me. Let me guess, you're Corbin? You know your sister's been looking everywhere for you. I had to hide in here with all those monsters around. Well, they're all gone, so you should be safe now. Are you hurt? Do you need help getting back home? I'm okay, I think. I know how to get home by myself. I come here lots, but there were never any monsters. You'd better go while it's clear out there. I still need to get Mr. Johnny's laundry. I dropped it down there, and I don't want to get in trouble. No, Corbin. You go home. I'll take care of it. Oh, wow, thanks. Here, take this. You'll need it if you go down there. A white resonance gem. That should come in handy. Thank you. Now, go on. Hurry back to town. Seriously? We're going after that jerk's laundry? We're going on a laundry quest? I wouldn't want Gianni blaming that poor kid for what's happened. Come on, we'll kill some monsters on the way. It'll be great. I agree. This sounds like a lot of fun. So, first, I'm going to save, though, because I don't want to have to fight those pieces of crap all over again. Oh. Well. Oh! Well, that didn't go very well whatsoever. Well, you know what they say. If it's worth doing once, it's worth doing a whole bunch of times over and over again until you get it right. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Well, you know what they say. Sometimes there's a save point right next to where you failed repeatedly. These guys appear to take a crap ton of damage. Okay, that was easy enough. Why can't I ever save, though? That's fine, I don't care. I don't care, I don't need to save. Well, here's where Corbin drops the basket. Might as well return it for him. Do mine eyes deceive me? Or did he accidentally drop it near a poison ivy bush? Fidget, what's going on in that twisted little brain of yours? Nothing, nothing, I'm just saying. Wouldn't it be a shame if some poison ivy fell into his basket? You know, completely by accident. Or, you know, not. You are positively evil, Fidget. But... No way! That's awful. Mr. Gianni is just... He's a nice guy. It's Corbin who sucks. Boo! Boo, I say! You're no fun, Dust. No fun at all. Yeah, well, at least I'm not completely deranged and evil. Wow, that would be quite awful. Okay, bomb fruit, go! We're gonna blow up, blow up these bros with the bomb fruit. Bomb, bomb fruit, blow up! Bomb fruit, blow up! 
Okay, it doesn't matter to me. It'll, it'll eventually go. Come on. Just hang out right there. Oh, well, I messed it up. That's fine, I don't care. We'll just... We'll just deal with him normally. Like that. And that. And that. Because no one can handle the dust storm. You think you got the skill greater than what the giants could muster when you are just weird, stupid jellyfish? Heh. <laughs> See what I did there. Fan service! Okay, let's move on. I will just have to do this uh, in one try. Stay away from me, you you evil, many-eyed, stabby, stabby herder. Wow, that was extremely loud. Thank you for that. Ah, well, well now we need the bomb fruit, so we're gonna go ahead. Go back! That's the opposite of go ahead. I just say go ahead a lot. We're gonna go back, get this bomb fruit, and place it over right where we need it to be. We're gonna place it over right where we need it to be. Yes, there we are. Okay, countdown is go. Put it there. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! I feel like one lasts a little bit longer than all the other numbers, but maybe I'm mistaken. What the? What? Whoa, I don't know what that is, but I think it has something to do with a white resonance gem. I assume it's like a a key, basically, for a dungeon. Come on, Blom. Come on, Fidget. At least, at least hit the Blom. Hit. There we are, and back up. Okay, so the white resonance gems unlock white doors. Is this like a Switch Palace for Mario or something? Does it unlock every white white door? I don't know. We're gonna find out, I suppose. Okay, they're inhaling. Blow them up. Blow them up. Okay, come on. Breathe in. Breathe in. Oh! That was actually kind of close. Oh, it doesn't matter, though. Is there anything up there? No. Okay. We will just continue onwards, then. Kill killing all sorts of bloms. Because that is what is fun in this game, according to Dust, yeah? Killing lots of monsters? Please don't come down and hurt me. Okay, wonderful. So, this peaceful little cave filled with undisturbed creatures has been absolutely horrifically wrecked. Oh, okay. I don't... I kind of remember this area. But I guess we probably weren't able to downwardly attack there. That's fine. That's fine. That makes perfect sense. So let's go back to... Oh, I didn't get all the treasure. Interesting. There were secrets. Ah, oh well. Let's head to... Where should we go? Where should we go? We'll check... We'll check our quests, and we'll determine it based on that. So we have to do... Better than nothing. Okay, let's just get the right number of materials. We need imp hides, of which I have one. Okay, well... You know, it'd be funny if I could just buy them from the shop and then sell them back. I bet that would work, huh? I haven't even fought any imps. I don't know who drops the imp hides. Okay. So that's not gonna work. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have to return. Okay, what's in the box? He seems to be looking for a box of some sort. Well, I haven't seen any boxes. Denim at the end of Abydus Forest. I assume that... Yes, yes, okay. We'll take a blueprint to the archer's pass in his steed. Okay. After, after we go back to Aurora Village and Fidget is completely gone. Where'd you go, Fidget? Okay, it doesn't matter. We'll go back to Aurora Village. Um, okay, there we are. I've kind of figured out how to use it. Oh, can I go, can I actually go to Aurora Village but approach it on the other side? Like that? Yes, perfect. You can pick which zone you go into. I assume it's actually even better than what I assumed, where you can go into every screen that you've previously explored. So that would be extremely convenient. Alright, we'll give Mr. Gianni his clothing back. Alright, Gianni, let's talk. Would you mind telling me why you have a child running errands outside the village with monsters around? Well, I certainly can't be running around outside myself. Those monsters, they are dangerous. So, where is that Corbin brat? He's lucky I'm the patient type, and I didn't report his laundry thievery to the guards. Well, after rescuing him, we sent him back to the village. Rescuing him, you say? Is he all right? Yes, he'll be fine. A bit shaken up, but... Fine, fine. And uh, what of my laundry? 
Surely after all that time he spent out there, it must be cleaned by now. Yeah, Gianni, here, take your laundry. But you're never going to ask Corbin to leave the village again. Do you understand? Um, well, when you put it so threateningly, I suppose I have little choice in the matter. Good. For your sake, you should hope we don't have to talk again. Believe me, I will avoid it if I can help it. You know what? I kind of hate this guy. And I would just love to maul his face off. Manners, Fidget. It's what separates us from the animals. Lol. Because they are animals. Okay, to Archer. Archer Town. I don't remember what it was called. Archer's Keep Pass, something like that. We got a blueprint to deliver from Australia. So it's a super special blueprint that, I don't know, is made out of kangaroos or something to that extent. Archer's Pass. Here we go. Whoa. Things are really, really happening here. Do we, do we actually encounter any archers here? Or is it just named after Archer, the TV show? The TV show character, I guess. Wow, this music is certainly quite epic. Okay, so we don't have a black resonance gem here. Oh, it's blue. Okay. So I don't have a blue resonance gem. I only have the white one. I'm going, I'm going to have to turn down the volume a little bit on my side. Sorry about that. And... Do you hear something lapping? What? That isn't you? Hey, I don't make that much noise. Wait, you're right. Look out! We've got company! Oh no, they're flying. And we will deal with them on the next episode of Birdcatcher Plays Dust and Elysian Tale. Thank you for watching.